Hey, I'm Creech, this is Creech and Cars, and today I'm going to discuss the current production issues facing Toyota. So in an effort to catch up with demand, Toyota targeted a production of 900,000 cars for the month of April. It was planning on ramping up production for the months to come. Uh, now that message has changed, and so I'm going to take a look at why. There are kind of two segments to the story. One was that Toyota announced an international pause for the earthquake in Japan, and then the earthquake in Japan happened, which further slowed production. Earlier on in March, Toyota gave suppliers a production target of an average of 800,000 vehicles per month from April through June, and with 900,000 to be produced in April. And Toyota also added that it is targeting 10.29 million vehicles to be sold for the fiscal year. Toyota's fiscal year ends every March 31st, and that is a surprisingly high number considering the supply chain issues that virtually every industry has faced over this past year. But things changed later on, and in a press release, Toyota announced, quote, We have revised production plans to be more reasonable in line with recent realities. Toyota also added that the company will be taking a, quote, intentional pause. This is a term that the company has used in the past, uh, I think around the, the 2008 recession. Uh, so kind of bringing back that term to describe what the company will be doing over the next few months. In this press release, Toyota also add, quote, By doing this, we will establish healthy workplace environments that place the highest priority on safety and quality, rather than exceeding the capacities of facilities, pushing people to their limits, and making do through overtime work, end quote. Toyota is now planning on producing 750,000 units over the next month, and plans to average 760,000 vehicles per month from April through June. 250,000 units will be produced in Japan, and the remaining 500,000 will be produced abroad. One of those abroad plants is in Princeton, Indiana. This plant employs about 7,000 people, and Toyota North America released a statement revealing that the plant will be closed April 1st, 8th, 14th, 15th and 18th, a total of five days, and cited supply chain issues for the closure. On those days, the employees of that plant will have the option of reporting for work to perform various tasks at the plant, uh, taking a paid time off day, or taking a non-paid day. This isn't a wholly new concept to this plant, as this plant also had to temporarily shut down back in September for uh, similar supply chain issues. This slowdown will affect the output of models such as the Toyota Camry, the CHR, the Yaris, and the Lexus models of the NX, CT, UT, LS, ES, IS, and RC. Toyota said they will review production plans and risk factors on a monthly and quarterly basis and share those plans with suppliers. The plans that are shared with suppliers are usually how we can get that information to be made public. So I will be looking for that in the news to see where Toyota is heading. And so this was all pre-earthquake. Toyota was already cutting down the production quite a bit, but you didn't know March 16th, there was an earthquake in Fukushima, Japan, which is in Northeast Japan. It measured at 7.4 magnitude, so it was a pretty good sized earthquake. Uh, killed a few people, unfortunately, injured several. It also disrupted several main highways. The earthquake also affected Toyota's parts suppliers, and so that will also decrease the production. Toyota released a, a statement saying that uh, for the month of March, the production is expected to decrease by 50,000 units. The earthquake will uh, specifically uh, reduce the output of the Toyota Crown, which I wish we had in America, uh, the Yaris, the RAV4, the Harrier, which we don't have in America, the CHR, and the Land Cruiser. So that's kind of an overview of the situation that's going on at Toyota. Just wanted to make a little video about that. We'll see what happens in the months to come. I will be creating update videos as the news comes out. Sorry if I sound a little weird today. I feel like it's I feel like it's difficult for me to speak clearly. I had an oral surgery. My uh, mouth is quite swollen, so that's kind of what's been going on. So let me know what you think uh, about this situation in the comments below. What do you think Toyota could do to try to up production? Do you think that it should try to up production in that effort to catch up with the demand after everything that happened these past couple years? Also wanted to mention the what I mentioned in the beginning of the video about how Toyota is targeting uh, nearly 10.3 uh, million vehicles to be sold for this fiscal year, which is coming to an end uh, in 11 days from when I'm recording this. Uh, to put that into perspective, 2019 was Toyota's record year for sales in terms of units, and Toyota sold 10.6 million vehicles. And so that 
uh, three seems really high when you put into perspective how normal the world was in 2019 compared to 2021. So I think in the future, it seems like Toyota is really looking to ramp things up overall and uh, maybe is looking for 2022 uh, into early 2023 to be a really high year in terms of sales if the supply chain issues can get resolved and all things being normal it seems like toyota really wants to up the sales numbers and production numbers so that's all i have for you today thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video